Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming episode 5 of new makeup releases. So if you want to go ahead and hang with me while we chat about all of the new things that we've seen or have launched, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing to my channel, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, so really quickly, I want to say I had kind of told myself that I was going to post this video every Monday just with how things were going for me. But I think I'm actually going to try and permanently switch to doing these videos every Tuesday. Now it does depend on a few things and just know that my schedule is very fluid. But typically I am able to film this on a Monday. So my plan is to post it every Tuesday. So if that helps you guys at all, I just want to give you that heads up. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like every time I say something out loud, it doesn't go that way. So... Take it with a grain of salt, but we're going to try. And yeah, I do these videos weekly and I'm so excited because there's so many new exciting launches to chat about. I also want to let you guys know this eye look will be coming sometime soon. It's a new release. I don't even think they've started hinting it yet. So very, very excited to be playing with that. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So let me move on over to the side here so we can chat about some new releases. Okay y'all, so the first thing I want to chat about is the new launch from Blend Bunny. We saw that they changed their logo and everybody was like, oh my gosh, what is it? And I think she said it wasn't a big collection. So I was like, is she doing nail polish? Because there was a story where she said we nailed it. And I was like, is she doing nail polish? Maybe? I don't know. But it actually just got announced that they're doing a mascara, which I'm so excited about. So it says there's nothing more gimmicky out there than mascara advertising, right? Wink, wink. I wanted nothing more than to get away from that. The entire time I was trailing mascara formulas, the one thing I told myself was I just want a good mascara. This is so true. I feel like it is so hard to find a good mascara. I don't want to promise your life will change or you'll grow new lashes, or that it will withstand tsunamis, or stay in place if you're engaging in strange acrobatics, or mountain climbing, or training for a marathon. I wanted it to have staying power without being too stiff, a bit of lift lengthening, and add some volume, and accentuate the lashes that she has. Um, so this sounds wonderful. So the mascara is going to be $13, which is a great price, I think. That's what a typical mascara would be at the drugstore. And of course, Blend Bunny has affiliate codes. So I'm assuming you can pair that with a code. So the mascara is launching on the 9th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. And I believe that mine is on its way to me. I did get tracking, so I can't wait to try it. I've literally been complaining to you guys about having such a struggle finding good mascaras. So I'm very, very excited to see it. Another thing that I forgot to cover last week is the Glam Light launch. So I think we talked about it on episode 3 when they had started sneak peeking it. But once I saw the full collection, I think it had already passed, like my new releases had passed. So we have now the full view of the Betty Boop collaboration with Glam Light. And it's also available now, so if you wanted to purchase it, I will link my Glam Light link and my Glam Light code down below for y'all. So they have a full PR box collection, and honestly, the prices are pretty reasonable. It's $118. So it comes with the Glam Light Boop Boop A Dupe 15 color palette for $32. There is a full volume mascara for $15 a lip kit for 14, a blush duo for 14, a handheld mirror for 25, lashes for 12, 
And then there's other options where you can buy things individually, etc. Now, I was definitely set to buy the eyeshadow palette, but honestly, I just held off. And then I put it in my cart the other day and I was like, oh, like I should buy this, you know, let me see if people are interested. I feel like a decent amount of people were interested in it, but I also have so many palettes still that I bought last year that I haven't even featured on my channel. And I know other people are getting this scent in PR. So maybe I just don't review it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. So let me know. But overall, I think the collection is really, really cute. I was kind of expecting a few more kind of like bone colored shades in the palette, if I'm being honest, just because of how like beige Benny Boop is. But I think they just chose to focus on her red outfit, which is super cute. But I was honestly expecting like a gold shade for her accessories and like I don't know, I was expecting like a little bit of a twist to it. I think I was mentioning that in my previous videos on this collection. I think the lashes, the lippy, and the mascara totally makes sense because that's like her main look. But yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed that they did more reds. I will say these reds do look very vibrant and I just posted my 2023 eyeshadow palette ranking video um, and I did go ahead and rank all the glam light palettes in that video so I did feel like this is a little bit more vibrant than a lot of their horror palettes last year because I was worried that I would have a lot of repetition um, I still probably do because there's so many red palettes in glam lights collections already like the strawberry shortcake their Icy Palette, their Chucky Palette, their Nightmare on Elm Street has reds in it, um, the Friday the 13th Palette. They've pretty much done every shade of red at this point, so I'm very, very curious. I know they're like blowing up on TikTok right now, so maybe the people that are finding them or discovering them for the first time don't have some of those older palettes I mentioned, but yeah, I'm a little bit like in two minds like I want to get it because I'm an affiliate of the brand so I want to review it for you guys I feel like I missed my moment <laughs> to pick it up I don't know okay we also have an update on the kiss collection so I think they're saying that the product has arrived now in their warehouse so the collection is coming I don't know if they've told us when but it looks like at least they're waiting until they have the product to launch it, which is so nice because I think a lot of people were a little bit, I don't know, over them doing really long pre-orders. So yeah, excited about that. Okay, next I want to talk about this from House Labs. So they're launching the PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze, a 4-in-1 plumping lip glaze that combines the hydration of a lip oil, cushion of a balm, volumizing effect of a plumper, high shine of a gloss in six artfully curated non-sticky shades. So this is available I think today as a Sephora app exclusive and then it's coming to Sephora on 2.7. So this looks interesting. I mean we all know these glossy lips are all the rage. And I considered, like, do I want one? But I recently picked up the Summer Fridays lip oil. And I've been trying it actually all weekend. And uh, I watched Morgan Turner review it on Instagram. And she said that she didn't really like it compared to the Dior lip oil. And I'm actually nodding my head in agreement with her because my lips felt even more chapped after using it. So I might actually return mine in protest. I just feel like their stuff is so overhyped sometimes. I was like, mm, yeah, no, this is not that great. Okay, we have a reveal of the Hypernova collection from Ariana Grande. So we have some new face products. We've got eight Hypernova Satin Matte Blushes, 
six Hypernova Satin Matte Bronzers, a setting spray, and then a blush brush and a bronzer brush. This is going to be launching on the 8th. Honestly, I am not the biggest REM fan, but some of these shades look very appealing. I'm very curious to see what the undertones of her bronzers are and the blushes. I love all those vibrant shades. I see a beautiful coral shade, so of course, I'm like... You know, that's me panting, by the way. So I want to see that lineup. We'll see what it all looks like because it's going to be launching soon. Okay, we have from Nude Sticks, they're launching the Nude Screen Blush Tints SPF 30. It is a multitasking, on-the-go, fresh color tint designed to create a monochromatic look, a soft color for eyes, lips, cheeks, while protecting from daily UV damage, liquid formula that is melt proof. Okay, that sounds cute. I feel like the girlies, the 10 year old girlies might like this one and they can get behind it because hopefully everybody, you know, can use some SPF and their skin's gonna be fine. There's some really pretty shades and if you're really into that like clean girl aesthetic and you want something easy like this, it looks beautiful. I could see myself buying that as a liquid blush, but realistically, I'm probably not going to, but it looks really, really interesting. We have the reveal of the Spring Collection from Chanel. Oh, their blushes are always so beautiful. So there's a face powder, a blush, or a couple of blushes, I think, and then a ocean-inspired colorful palette. We also have a mermaid glow highlighter. There's a bunch of stuff. I honestly am not versed well enough in Chanel to keep up, but I know there's a few channels on YouTube that cover luxury makeup, so if you're interested, definitely check them out. We have a new shade of the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio from One Size in the shade Quirly Pop, so it's like the word girly and glowy combined. Oh my god. So it's like I'm speaking a different language. I just sound old. So it is a bright pink blush, and so there's a cream, a regular pink, and then a really shimmer heavy looking blush shade. I already don't love pink blushes, so I wouldn't touch this one with a 10 foot pole. Also, these blush palettes are so pigmented by one size. So I would advise if you are a light skin tone, even a medium skin tone, just go in with a very, very light hand because you're going to be pink real quick with that. I can just tell just from looking at it. Okay, so this whole... Animalier palette from Dolce & Gabbana is giving me mob wife aesthetic and I have recently seen people kind of talking about the mob wife aesthetic and I think it's a good thing because it was something that definitely passed my mind. I think that we really need to realize as a community that there's people that are younger than us that are looking towards the beauty community to kind of tell them what's cool, what's trendy. And I guess it concerns me as an adult that we might be making being a mob wife something to aspire to, I guess. I mean, Kids are so influenced by social media. I mean, just look at, again, the young girls that are shopping at Sephora, applying things that could actually be harmful to their skin because their favorite older influencer is telling them that they love, you know, Drunk Elephant or Glow Recipe or this toner or that AHA or this BHA. So I think that it was not something that ever concerned me and now that I am a parent I think I am concerned and maybe that makes me a hypocrite but 
I don't know. I don't know. What is the level of responsibility that influencers have? I don't think anyone younger than the age of 18 really watches my channel. I mean, I look at my analytics from time to time. My biggest audience are people that are my age, like 30, 35, 40s. So I don't really worry about that. I think it is important that as a collective we really think of what we're kind of putting on a pedestal and what we're giving attention to. I get that TikTok wants to create all kinds of things where they're like, oh, you know, the clean girl, the donut makeup, the broccoli freckles. Like, I feel like things like that are relatively harmless, but if we start with a mob wife aesthetic, where do we draw the line of like what is too much? So hopefully I explained myself well. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts as well because I think it is an interesting discussion to be had. We have a new fragrance from the brand Fleur. So I don't always talk about fragrances, but I do like Fleur's line. So it's called Strawberry Letter. An alluring, addictive, and undeniably sexy, crisp, fruity gourmand that opens with playful juiciness and then transitions with unexpected chic decadence. Red strawberries combined with juicy plum nectar to provide a burst of brightness. This sounds delicious. So the notes are cassis leaves, strawberry plum nectar. The heart is oil lily, red poppy, apple blossom. Bases, earthy woods, tonka beans, and sugared amber. Sounds really interesting. I haven't seen anything about it actually launching, but I will keep a eye out. Um, I think their fragrance mood ring, it sold out, and I still haven't seen the travel size come back in stock. I did end up smelling it in store, and I think it's really nice. Um, so I could definitely see myself picking it up in the future, but can't find it, so I guess I can't. Also, I did finally smell the Sol de Janeiro Delicia fragrance, the new one in the purple. And you guys, I don't get the hype. Like, I am going to say something that's probably going to make you guys unfollow, unsubscribe, whatever. But I genuinely think the Sol de Janeiro fragrances are really overhyped. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I do think that people get a lot of pleasure out of collecting them and having them all and it's like a status thing for them but I just personally don't get it. I have like one or two of them but every time I smell one I'm like mm, can you tell I finally went into a Sephora store because I did get to smell a lot of fragrances finally that I've been dying to smell but yeah I don't get the whole Sol de Janeiro hype. I will say the body butter smelled a lot better than the fragrance. So let me know, am I just out here on my own island or are some of you guys also of the same belief? Okay, so we have a new shade of the NYX Duck Plump High Pigment Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Cherry Spice. I'm guessing this is like the perfect timing with Valentine's right around the corner. I think I saw that the Ulta Beauty Collective was in like Vegas or something and I saw somebody post like NYX content so I don't know if like NYX is sponsoring that trip but it uh, looked really fun and this is a beautiful shade but I don't know if I've heard really much about that particular product line. I think it's really smart that they named it Duck Lips because again I think it's just such an easy catchy name to hype up on like TikTok for instance. Okay, Kylie is launching a skincare rich glossy balm. Instantly quenches dry lips in moisture for up to 24 hours. This is definitely giving me like Summer Fridays packaging vibes. And one thing I hear that the girlies, the 10 year old girlies at Sephora loves is a good lip balm. I mean, that Laneige lip mask is like gone. <laughs> At my Sephora, it was gone. So they love these lip balms. Obviously, Kylie sees it and she's like, let me hop on that lip balm train. So there's that. And then we have a Spectrum collection. This is their collection with Lady and the Tramp. 
and this is so cute they have these really cute makeup poofs i love the colors the brushes look cute the packaging is cute the bag is cute is this my favorite disney movie no but i think it is adorable and then the other day i was on the ulta app and i saw they had launched like these zodiac brush collections i wasn't really sure if made all of the brushes different or if it was the same brushes in each set they just had them like packaged different shades but yeah you guys let me know did you guys see the zodiac brush sets from spectrum on the alta website if so do you have thoughts another thing at alta is that charlotte tilbury is now available at alta beauty so if you guys are planning on making any purchases i will link it down below if you would like to use my affiliate code it does help me out and yeah they pretty much have her entire product line there so if you want to use your points that's always a fun way to save we also have a new launch from tree hut again i don't like to talk about a ton of hygiene products on my channel but tree hut i really really like because they make some great smelling products and they're not super duper expensive so they've launched some new moisturizing lotions we've also got some sugar scrubs we have a new hydrating body oil as well as some foaming body wash gels so i really really enjoy a lot of these products i've never tried the body oil i might pick it up i did run into alta yesterday and i was able to sniff the body scrubs and rainbow sherbet is like right up my alley so i think i might place an order later if i'm feeling like it but i do have a backup body scrub so maybe i shouldn't be doing that but i did think it smelled absolutely delicious so highly recommend checking out tree hut if you would like some affordable body care products okay we have new products from danessa myricks so we have additions to the yummy skin family there's a water powder serum so this is a mattifying smoothing product that blurs it says you can wear it alone or under makeup for all skin types interesting texture applies like water and then it vaporizes to a smooth powder that sounds really really interesting it looks like it comes in like a little squeezy bottle so that'll be interesting and then we have the moisture repair balm hydrates your skin can be applied alone or under makeup this looks like a lip balm type product um yeah i don't know how i would feel trying to apply that on my skin under my makeup i have pretty dry skin but i feel like it looks very like um aquaphory so i don't know if it's that different but i'll be curious to see what people think about that next we have these beautiful lip volumizing products from la mer um it doesn't say how much these are but they're a serum strength treatment that softens smoothens and plumps lips with hydration for a fuller look and an irresistible sheen high shine finish so this definitely is looking very bouge and it says there's four shades pink there's like a brownie shade a purpley shade and a coral shade they look really really pretty but i'm gonna go ahead and pass on those i did see this hair care product on the app today for sephora it is from day and it is the fairy duster dry shampoo I swear I have tried so many dry shampoo products but they just don't do anything for my hair so I've told myself like absolutely not like I'm so sick of having just a graveyard of hair products so I love day they have the most amazing smelling products and this looks beautiful like it looks like it really volumizes your hair but I hate that powdery feeling of dry shampoo and again I just don't think it does anything for me so i'm gonna pass on it but you guys if you try it let me know this i'm a little bit low-key interested in again i feel like every brand is coming out with a lip balm because it is a safe product to market to young kids it's not going to do anything to them so i feel like every brand is coming out with a lip balm right now granted i do love tower 28's products and they're pretty affordable so 
They're launching a lip soft dehydrating tinted lip treatment balm. It says it's a non-sticky lip balm treatment that delivers the intense hydration of a lip mask and the sweet sheer tint using food grade non-artificial flavor. $16 each. We have five shades. So I would be interested in trying this for sure. I also love that it comes in a squeezy tube because I hate sticking my fingers into a pot. <laughs> okay, so last week I feel like I had so many mainstream launches to talk about. I barely got to cover indie makeup, but we have a new brand. So I believe this is by Doodles by the Bunny and her brand is called By the Bunny. Super duper cute. I can't wait to see of course what they are launching it says i have a very clear vision for by the bunny i want a luxe feel that won't break the bank good makeup should be for everyone not just for the few who can afford the high prices i want simplicity but special i want our products to be ones you're proud to have on your vanity and ones that make you feel fabulous when you wear them so that sounds wonderful can't wait to see everything that they work on we also have a new launch from Live Tinted. It is the Hugard Skin Tint SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen, a weightless, light, medium, buildable coverage skin tint with non-white cast mineral SPF 50 that protects with all-day hydration and a radiant finish. Live Tinted's Hugard Skin Tint, blah, 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 has skincare actives to hydrate, protect, and smooth skin in one step. That sounds lovely. Light, medium, buildable coverage, natural radiant finish with no white cast, lightweight gel cream. You know, I'm planning on being outside a lot this summer and I'm really bad at using SPF. So I should check this out. It looks like it's available at Ulta. I didn't notice it, but I'll have to check. It's $42. Okay, we have a sneak peek of a product launching from Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Shine Controlling and Blurring Setting Powder. Now, last week I told you guys I really love the original HD Skin Foundation. They're launching a hydrating version of that soon. And then I did see this product is also available for preview on the Sephora website. So it says a super fine setting powder that diminishes excessive shine for a soft matte finish that lasts 24 hours without caking or enhancing texture even on drier skin types. All of that sounds really good. It is $43. I did buy the Makeup Forever powder that came in that little spinner with the different colored powders in it. And I didn't love that one last year. So I don't know that I'm gonna jump on this even though I would like to try every single Makeup Forever product. So yeah, I'm gonna pass on it because I really like my Lunar Beauty powder. So yeah, you guys will have to keep me updated if you end up buying it. We also have a ton of stuff from Give Me Glow. I just keep seeing like different singles and like palettes and I honestly can't even keep up. But I think basically they just launched a magnetic palette and then they're just filling it with different singles. So there's this like cute love letter one. There's one called Electric Love with cute like candies on it and... Yeah, another one called Love You Very Much, I think. I don't know, guys. There's a lot going on on that page, so check it out if you're interested. Also, I already talked about both of these launches, but last Friday, we had the Lovesick palette launch from Wicked Widow, and I believe the palette is already sold out. I'm not sure about the lip products or the bag, but... You know, I can go ahead and link it down below in case you guys are still interested in that. I also did buy the Flying Fiddles palette from Adept. I can't wait. I know some of you weren't that excited about it, but I'm really excited about it. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I almost forgot about the launch because I was out with my kids. And then luckily, two hours later, it was still in stock. So I grabbed it and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. We also have the Profusion Love is in the Air, Dear Cupid's Valentine Collection, and this is quite the collection. It says it's available on their website. There is a heart palette. There's like a little glitter situation, all kinds of stuff, some little stickers. I mean, I think Profusion generally has a great lineup, like if you go to the drugstore 
but it's a pass for me on the Valentine's collection. This is catching my eye only because this bottle is red. So from Victor and Rolf, have I talked about this? This is the Flower Bomb Tiger Lily. It's a fresh solar fragrance. Coconut milk, tiger lily, and mango. That sounds delicious. Perfect for summer. So I'll have to give that a sniff if I ever see it at Sephora. We also have a new launch from Wet n Wild. They're adding to their color icon blush family. So the shades are Naked Brown and Bed of Roses. Those are super cute. They're $4 each. So we love that for Wet n Wild. Okay, I have not talked about this before, I think, but Finding Ferdinand, it's not a brand I'm very familiar with, but they collab for round two with Hey Khaki. So this is their pre-ski collection, and they have some really beautiful products. I guess they do like these blushes and some beautiful glosses. So $26 for the glosses, $28 for the cream blushes, yeah, what is a blush adjuster? I'm not 100% sure. Looks like a really pretty collection. Definitely giving me like wintery vibes. So congratulations to the brand and Khaki on their collab. Okay, I really quick wanted to talk about this because I actually saw my friend Angie talk about it and I was like, ooh, Angie, you're right, you're right. So this is the Armani Beauty Ultra Velvet Mattes. And they're launching four new shades to be released on February 1st. I need to go find these. So there's Ambiguous Peach Pink, Love Pink Brown, Heartwarming Powder, and then Hot Love Pink Orange. These look so beautiful. I will say that since they're a matte lipstick, it's probably brighter. But oh my gosh, I almost wish they had done lip oils or like lip glosses in these shades because that like faded orange hue is gorgeous so yeah Angie totally talked about that in her new makeup releases and I was like wait a minute do I need that do I need that the answer is definitely no but she definitely got me curious about it I will say that okay friends so that is it for new makeup releases episode number five like I said I have some new stuff coming on my channel this week and then if you didn't see my 2023 eyeshadow palette ranking video highly recommend checking it out it is over an hour long so i appreciate it if you guys could check that out thank you for hanging with me and i will see you very very soon bye friends